Hello everybody, this is Elliot from Bravo Gaming and welcome back. So here I have before you a ship I would like to show you. This was created by my good friend Pete. Um, this was actually his first big ship uh, that he created or at least shown me. Um, I actually think it looks fantastic. It's called the Stingray. And, um, oh, turned off that. It's called the Stingray. And I do tease him a bit by shouting out Stingray, Stingray, which is an old uh, TV program that I've watched when I was when I was just a small lad. Um, I did actually take the ship and then modify it myself. Uh, so it's actually the Stingray RSF retrofit, which I've yet to give back to him. Um, basically, it's survival compatible now. It has oxygen. It has piping. Things will actually work. Like for example, there's actually a docking port now. The rockets on in those pods will actually work. The uh, power generation is in, in the stupid places. It's actually accessible, and you can actually um, put fuel in there. The batteries work, and so f and a few other things I put in there as well to make it look good. So we're gonna go straight in and uh, have a look around. So, like main, sh as you can see, the ship itself is actually pretty big. It's mainly light armor, but there's an awful lot of heavy armor in there. Um, and you've got to bear in mind, everything he built was for aesthetics, so it looks good rather than functionality, which is a bit different to my style. When I build things, I make I only build what I need, uh, so it's practical. He built things to make them look good. Um, of course, he's now changed. He's now building things for survival compatible, so things are going in there that he actually needs rather than what he, what he thinks will look cool. Or what he can pretend looks like something else. So here we go. We've got straight away into the... Um, main walkway uh, we can actually take off our helmet which I'm gonna do and we will greet it straight away by interior turrets these will shred you as soon as you come in bear in mind these are the only two entrances you have to this place you cannot get in any other way okay so <laughs> once you walk in uh, you greet it straight away with a lovely layout um, a bit cluttered but it looks like it's busy and it's actually get used um, the piping you see across the top there and um, the side the back there is actually me. I did that. And of course that timer block there is me as well. I'll get to show you that in a sec. But I'm pretty sure you know what I mean about that. And of course more turrets. Um, I have this thing about having turrets that don't move. They just sit there and look across. Um, and only move when there's actually an enemy nearby. Uh, because I don't like moving turrets. Because it drops your frame rate. It, and it's just messy. And, and the noise gets annoying for me. But you can see what he originally did. He had piping in random places. Uh, to make it look good. And I tried to keep the air of just things looking good whilst changing it so they actually became more practical. Like, these docking ports, they're never going to get used, but they look good. And of course, all these beacons were originally on and they gave, they cluttered the screen up so much when you had the uh, your HUD on. So I've actually turned them off to make it for frame rate better and to actually look, uh, to make, sorry, for frame rate improvement and for it to look better on your screen in general. So we're going to head into the main um, engine uh, bay, or the reactor room, I call it. Um, I don't know what he calls it, I call it the reactor room. It's, rather than having lots of large reactors and then f like tons and tons and tons of small reactors, I've removed all of the reactors other than, and just put in four large ones, which are now all piped up. And you see two oxygen generators and three oxygen storage. The reason why I put them in here was to get them out of the way so they didn't it, they didn't change because many, not many people are meant to go in here. You're not meant to go in here. This is for personnel only. So if you're showing off the ship, you wouldn't want people to come in and have a look around his ship. Of course, I'm showing off and you're going to see everything. He's prob He may not necessarily be happy about that. But anyway. Um, so yeah, like it's all oxygen. Of course, every, every room is individually pressurized. So should a room get cut off, as long as these doors are closed, this room will remain pressurized or this will blow up and the rest of it will remain pressurized and vice versa so and of course the batteries out there are currently be in use I did have them on recharge uh, but yeah I've got them on use at the moment so we're gonna walk up to this story obviously yeah this room takes ages to fill it really does even with two like it's literally ridiculous anyway walking up uh, says I don't know what this what he calls it but I would call it a catwalk or an observatory because you can literally just look over the edge and see down below and so you can see people walking around potential intruders press buttons to activate weapons or like I don't know what he's got these set up for but like I said mainly for aesthetics I wouldn't have all these here unless I was actually using the buttons for something and of course we got two uh, more uh, computers of course 
only one of those computers is used and it's used by me um, for programming and I'll obviously I'll put a description for the programming below and you're about to see the programming so we move into the bridge uh, very large and spacious as you can see programming sort I'll talk about them in a sec uh, lots of control panels for people I'm judging on how a large crew but it's obviously not a space uh, long-haul flight vessel because there's nowhere to sleep they've got nowhere to go they either work or they work so I'd imagine this is like short or patrol of a local star system or something just somewhere at the end of the day they can just switch shifts or um, dock up and have 10 off the whole ship the ship itself handles okay I don't want to I don't want to be too critical of it um, but I'm gonna have to be because obviously I'm, I'm fairly critical about my ships as well um, it is very heavy and bulky it's more like a weapons platform than an actual ship um, it has a lot of thrusters but that adds, just adds to the weight and then of course you're trying to thrust this thing with so much weight the heavy armor the light armor the random blocks that you don't need like look at these I mean they look cool but if you're trying to save weight and speed up your ship with acceleration and maneuverability it just doesn't work and I tried to fill the whole lower level which you can't see um, with gyroscopes so it actually so it actually does turn better than his last ship uh, but it's it just doesn't cut it like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thrust forward so you can see like it moves roughly one meter per second per second that's her state of acceleration by the way guys and see it slows down in roughly the same amount of time um, front there's just not nearly as much front, front thrust as there is rear thrust if you look look if you look behind there is literally so much rear thrust <laughs> and of course you've got quite a lot of side thrust below and a fair amount of up thrust as well uh, so overall I would call this a weapons platform not a ship um, I hope he doesn't kill me for saying that uh, like I said piping everywhere I've had to put in in order to try and incorporate so the ship still looks good but I've had to put piping in so things are actually practical and actually worked so here we are like we have a real-time update for so every second these actually get updated um, I'm just going to double check it is actually working uh, where is it computer nope that's not it um, uh, what is it I'm going to keep going down until I find it then because I can't remember what it's called material lights, thrusters cushion tank, programmable block not program, not programmable blocks as well, oh yeah they are uh, number 3 so we've got nope there's nothing in there, ok no uh, where have I got it all stored then Got it stored somewhere. Got a time block there. Maybe it's in number. Oh, there's that. Maybe it's that one. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So we've got all this programming. I'm not going to show you guys it, but it, it it's there. Um, I'm going to go quickly to the time block and check it's actually. Set of actions. Yeah. So it is in real time. It is working. I guess it's just got so much power. It doesn't really move too much. So if we go for battery state, oh yeah, so he is moving, he is working, like, it's just updated, power output and whatnot. Um, of course, oxygen storage, and so if I actually go into it and go to the oxygen, air bridge, um, I say do engine room, oh, depressurize on, engine room, depressurize on. So hopefully that should depressurize the engine room. And of course, it's not going to work. It's probably going to depressurize everything if I close this door. Yeah, it's just close this door and depressurize everything. So... No, that's not going to work. Oh yeah, look, it's working. Um, it's going to struggle with pressurization and depressurization. So everything is up, slowly updating. Um, I'm going to quickly stop that. <laughs> uh, so it'll quickly fill up again. Um, so every second that gets updated, and it's just jumps there we go okay that was a bit of a delay but normally it gets updated quite quickly oxygen tanks and cargo storage in case he's got something actually in the cargo storage which I don't believe he's got loads of storage so this ship overall the ship I think is a very nice ship it's gotten up stairs in case we've got some observers maybe the captain will come up here and like issue commands and say attack that um, it is a very powerful ship it definitely took on it took on two of my illustrious and held its own uh, it took on one of my luxurious class ships and took it out, pretty much. 
However, he made a mistake of thinking that the reactors were the only power supply. And in reality, I've got so many batteries in there as well. So I just turned on the batteries and set up as also. Turned on my side uh, rocket launchers and had them eh, so they're shooting up from below the ship. Whilst I had my other illus illustrious, which I had just jumped out. Jumped in as I joined the game because I realised what he was doing because he sent me a snapchat of what he was doing. I was thinking, I'm not having this. And um, I shredded him from the side. And in the end, I won. Because um, I also was out in my Aberforth shooting away at his ship. And then he came out with his Raptor. In fact, I'm going to show you the Raptor. Um, so there's the original, uh, not the prototype, it's the Raptor. We'll show you the Raptor. I won't show you the prototype because, like I said, it's a prototype. It's not ready to be shown. I just wanted to grab it so I can have a look around. So this is his Raptor. Again, I had to modify this a little bit. It's not survival compatible, but at least you can turn without it going mental and accelerate forwards without too much, like, power actually works now. Um, I, it was overloading a bit too much. So you can see, like, it's, it's pure rocket launches. I don't believe there's a sink. Oh, there is a Gatling guns on there. I did not know about that. Hang on. So we've got four Gatling guns. Yeah, we do have four. Uh, but he mainly used the rockets. And it's not very... Um, I guess it packs a punch. But uh, we're on the other side of the ship. Let's uh, turn back around. So it packs a punch. But it doesn't really... Um... Yeah, it's... You run out of rockets too fast, basically. And then you're left with a bulky ship uh, that's a big target and no ammunition. Because um, it... Despite, I've, I've had to remove some of the uh, gyroscopes, or at least turn off four of them, because he overloaded the gyroscopes a bit as well. And so it was just too twitchy, and it was almost uncontrollable. But, like, you can see his general, like, how he does things, like, his general design base. It's, uh... Yeah, you can see what I mean, like, that's, it's, it's a good design base. Um, his newest ship, which I literally can't wait to show you guys, looks flipping fantastic. It is a beautiful ship. He's really gone to town on that thing. Um, but I wanted to show you this. Considering this is his first ship, it looks flipping fantastic. Um, it's better than any of my first ship. I mean, look at my illustrious. That was not even my first ship. But that doesn't look anything as good as this. And, um, yeah. Uh, my new ship, what I'll show you, um, eventually, when I get around to finishing it, looks pretty good. And he will be shocked. Because it's my first ever warship. It's designed for war. Um, going into war zones, dropping off uh, attack vessels, um, smaller ships and stuff like that. It's more for planetary stuff really um, than this one. Like I, I would think this would enter a atmosphere and be controlled fine. Uh, with the amount of thrusters it should be okay. But I'm a little concerned about the weight and the bulk of the whole thing. That it literally would not be able to cope and it would get torn apart or it would crash land. But at the same time, I'm looking forward to a crash land. Because if we have a space battle in front of a planet, and I take it out enough of his thrusters, or take out that power generation room at the back there, he's going to crash land, and it's going to look epic. But then again, he could do exactly the same thing to me. No, he can't, because I don't really have power generation. That I, my ships now are mainly batteries, and they're everywhere. You can't really get rid of all my power. So, like, I guess I've got... My ship's a little bit different. Uh, I don't really have generation support on my ships now. Uh, they have a reservoir, and if it's a reservoir, they need topping up by an external ship, which I'll eventually I'll be building. Like an actual oxygen supply, a power generation ship, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, so that's the uh, Stingray with the RSF retrofit. And I have no idea what empty means. Oh, that's empty... I have no idea what that means. I think that could be the Gatling guns, just telling me they're empty. Uh, so yeah, um, my name's been Elliot. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Oh, still got my hammer off. <laughs> um, this is Bravo Gaming. Uh, like for more. Um, so subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys next time. Thank you.